Hi, Brentech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft has released the optional bug fix C release updates for Windows 10 and Windows 11. And starting with Windows 10, the update is KB5031445. And this is exactly the same update I posted on last week when it was still in the release preview channel and has now made its way uh, into the stable version of Windows 10 version 22H2. Now the update um, rolled out on the 26th, which was late yesterday in my region. And it's an optional update, so you don't have to install it. And I always suggest with optional updates, only install them if you are experiencing any issues with your system, else just ignore the update because the improvements and fixes will be carried over into next month's Patch Tuesday compulsory mandatory update anyway. Now here is the update 5031445. And with this update, is there's not too much actually going on. Um, it's at heart a bug fix update. And then um, there is one small improvement we'll have a look at near the end of this video. Now, um, first of all, the highlights for this update is it addresses an issue that affects touchscreens. Microsoft said they didn't work properly when you use more than one display. So if you were experiencing that issue, that um, should be addressed. And then I'm just going to mention um, a couple of the other bug fixes um, that you may find of interest because this is a non-security update that does include other quality improvements. And just to go through six, um, the update supports daylight saving time, changes in Syria. Um, there's a bit of a performance uh, fix rolling out. There are two memory leaks that have been addressed and uh, any memory leak that is addressed I think is a nice move because um, obviously memory leaks mean it's using excessive memory in a certain area of the OS. So two of those have been addressed. So um, that should increase the performance of Windows 10 uh, in some cases. And then the update addresses an error that occurs when you print using V4 print drivers. It also addresses an issue that was um, causing Outlook to stop responding. And it also addresses an issue that was affecting connectivity. Apparently it was lost um, and this was occurring when you add a second network interface card that has no default gateway. So a couple of important fixes rolling out. Um, some others under the hood, which I don't think your average home user would find of interest. Uh, the, service, the servicing stack has been updated, which is the component that installs Windows updates. That basically gets updated with every update that does roll out. And then something I have uh, seen that wasn't mentioned in the release notes and yeah, if we head to our start menu, we now get system components in the start menu. So yeah, you can see game bar has system underneath it. If we scroll down, we get Microsoft Store, the same applies, system underneath. Phone link is a system component. Settings is a system component. You get the idea, Windows backup, Windows security. So um, this actually hasn't even started rolling out yet to the uh, stable version of Windows 11. And unsurprisingly, it's now made its way into Windows 10 before it made its way into Windows 11 and wasn't mentioned in the release notes and I thought that was interesting and this is very similar uh, to what we see in the Microsoft Store where all the system components as you can see have also been labeled accordingly so obviously Microsoft trying to collate those system components across the board and I actually think this is a good idea because uh, it does let you um, just distinguish between other apps and system components especially if you are um, a novice or um, a newbie, so to speak, and you just want to differentiate between what are system and what are normal apps. So I think that's a nice move, and I actually like the differentiation of those apps um, uh, that are distinguished now with that system label underneath each in the start menu. And if you want to uh, see the latest uh, version and build, we just head to uh, Winver. This is about Windows. And here we go, Windows 10 version 22H2, OS build 19045.3636. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.